Before I started meditating, I heard the word meditation and it meant almost nothing to me. It seemed like a fad and a waste of time and not for me. Being an artist, I felt like maybe it's gonna fiddle with my creativity. Maybe this thing is gonna make me want to just stop working and sit under a tree. I was accepted to the American Film Institute and I was given an opportunity to make my first feature. I was given money. I had all the equipment I could dream of given to me. At this point, I remember standing and looking at this wall thinking I should be the happiest person on earth. But I looked inside and the happiness was just a dance on the surface. Below, hollow. I said, whoa, no inner happiness. Looking back, I felt I had a weakness. I wasn't self-assured. Even though I had great desires and, you know, ideas, I had anxieties like crazy, like everybody. I had a kind of a tremendous anger toward my first wife. I wasn't, you know, dealing with a full deck. There's a thing in people where, for one reason or another, suddenly they become a seeker. They just become a seeker. Somewhere along the line, I heard this phrase, true happiness is not out there, true happiness lies within. And this phrase had a ring of truth to it. But the phrase doesn't tell you where the within is, nor does it tell you how to get there. You need a key that opens the door to that treasury. That's the trick. That's the trick. I might draw you a picture. This line here will say represents the surface of life. This here is matter, and this is mind. Mind and matter. They say scientists about two or three hundred years ago started wondering what was this matter? What was it really? And they started delving into matter. And in about the 1970s, quantum physics discovered the unified field. the unity of all the particles and all the forces of manifestation, of creation. Unity, oneness. Everything that is a thing, including frogs, fish, babbling brooks, sun, stars, galaxies, the whole universe, superstructures, and all those little elementary particles has emerged from this field. The experience of this field is what's missing in today's life. I thought maybe uh, this thing of meditation is a way to go within. I had doubts at the same time I felt there was something truthful about it and I wanted it. And I went and I learned on July 1st, 1973, about 11.30 on a Saturday, beautiful sunny Saturday morning. Within the first two weeks, I started getting happier within the work, more happiness in the doing. Ideas seemed to come more easily. This anger kind of went away. 
I got a kind of a feeling of more freedom. And it felt very, very good to be alive. A bigger picture of life started emerging. <laughs> 